This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community that gathers millions of creative and curious people and offers thousands of really inspiring classes on multiple topics such as illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, creative writing and much more. And I think literally everyone can find multiple perfectly curated classes on Skillshare to learn something new and to let your fantasy go. And today I want to recommend you the class created by one of my favorite YouTubers, Miss Bernadette Banner. I was extremely excited to see that she has become one of Skillshare teachers and lately she has uploaded her first class called Hand Sewing Basics Work Wonders with Fabric, Needle and Thread. And if you don't know, if you don't follow Bernadette here on YouTube, she's a dress historian. She makes stunning historically accurate outfits. And in this class she breaks down the basic sewing techniques you need for sewing garments by hand from threading your needle to stitching fabric and sewing on buttons. And I know many people living in doll art community are really scared of sewing and prefer gluing pieces of fabric together. But this is actually not difficult at all and you can do really a lot after mastering just a few basic sewing skills that Bernadette offers in this class. So if you're one of those people who don't really know how to hold the needle, but who admit at the same time that basic sewing skills would probably help you in life, just go for this class because it's really full of information. And as a bonus, Bernadette has a special talent of presenting hand sewing as a very soothing and relaxing process. So congrats to Bernadette with this new class and I hope she will fill more detailed classes for Skillshare. And the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity already today and decide if this is something for you later. So thank you so much to Skillshare for supporting my art and my channel and right now let's dive into a doll makeover. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, the Halloween season is over, unfortunately, I don't know, it went way too quickly this year. I've made three special dolls this time, but I have at least, I don't know, a full dozen of nice dark Halloween doll ideas in my head. And in my last video two weeks ago, it was Cruella doll repaint video, I asked you if you would mind if we extended this dark season a little bit and keep making the dark dolls because I don't really want to wait for the whole year till the next year October to make my dark dolls. And you know, I've read probably at least a hundred of comments from you saying things like, oh yeah, you can make dark dolls every week, you make dark dolls as often as you want, it can be all year round dark season. And honestly, I haven't seen even one single comment saying something like, no, 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 it's enough of this darkness, let's make happy dolls again. So guys, I'm really happy we're on the same page in this. And that's why, yes, I've decided to extend the dark season because, you know, it's literally actually dark outside. It's dark and cold and I think it would be okay if we make a couple of more dark dolls. I've even decided to keep my Halloween music in this video because I think it would really fit the project. So, and today I want to make a shaman doll. I have this idea in my head already for a very long time, so I want to make some tribal looking makeup or like tribalish looking makeup, some very wild hair, some outfit made out of fur and leather. I don't know, in my head this doll looks absolutely amazing and I really can't wait to start working on it. So let's start this project because it's really a big one this time. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Of course, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. It's very, very, very important. And right now let's start working. 
So, I've chosen this doll to become my future shaman. Honestly, guys, I have no idea what kind of a Monster High doll this is. I've never seen it before, but it looks absolutely crazy, and this is exactly the vibe I need today. And also, her face mold looks super pretty. The only thing is, I don't know, are her eyes supposed to be like this? To me, it looks like someone just painted the pupils on with a marker, but I don't know. I just hope I won't get dragged in the comments for destroying some unique doll again today. But anyway, she's been waiting in my stock already for years and now it's finally her time to get repainted. So guys, let's undress her, let's cut her hair off, disconnect the head from the body and then we'll remove her face with pure acetone. Yep, I was right, <laughs> the pupils have been painted on with a permanent marker, but it doesn't really matter today, because I'm going to draw a pair of new eyes on top of it, so let's just spray the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant to be able to draw on the rubber surface with pencils and pastels, and then I will start working on her skin tone to turn it from light green to light nude. Then I sketch her eyes with watercolor pencils, just to know where they're gonna be. And after this I'm going to draw a black line that will cover the entire eye area, kind of like a mask. I thought she would look super mysterious with this kind of makeup. In my fantasy she applies this kind of eye makeup before contacting the spirits, the spirits world, to protect herself, maybe like from being recognized and chased by some evil spirits. And anyway, I think it just will look very cool and very special on her. So I've applied a couple of layers of black pastels protecting the layers with the sealant and when the black looks black enough to me I take my watercolor pencils and I draw her eyes and her lips.
I want to add some more elements of this kind of tribal-ish makeup to finish it up. Just a couple of black stripes here and there. And then on her forehead, I decided to add their big red self-invented symbol that would also protect her from any possible dangers on the other side. Okay, let's put her head aside for a while and work on her body because the skin tone looks completely different right now on her face and on the body and it means that I should sand the body first with nail buffers to make it completely matte then I will seal it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and after this I will cover it with the same pastels I've just used on her face. So now the face and the body finally look good together and it means I can move on to the next step of the project and this time I want to make her hair first and actually guys I'm really excited about this part of the project today because I'm going to make dreadlocks for the very first time, never tried it before, have zero experience in, in dreadlock making and that's why I've spent an entire Saturday morning trying to dread different kinds of doll hair it was really fun and you can see now that the dreads made out of synthetic doll hair look just like a mess. Acrylic yarn dreads also look bad in a different way. And then look what a perfect set of dreads I've made out of 50-50 wool acrylic mix. And this is it I think guys, this is the perfect material for making mini dreadlocks. So this is the yarn that I'm using, it contains 50% of wool and 50% of acrylic, of synthetic fibers. So now let's cut this yarn into pieces, attach these pieces to wooden sticks, then I will fix the sticks to the table with the strongest tape in the household, and then I can start teasing this yarn backwards and roll it in my fingers, like moving it in different directions, trying to form mini dreadlocks. I would say there is some felting happening in this process while I'm doing it since there is 50% of wool in this yarn. It's really something between dreading and felting. So now it already looks very cute, but I can make them even cuter. For this I'm going to make these dreadlocks wet with regular water and then I'm going to warm them up with a hot hair straightener. They will become even tighter and smoother from it.
Honestly, I have no idea how many of these dreadlocks I need, but I'm pretty sure I will be busy for a long time making them, really, for a very, very long time. But anyway, in the end, I already became much better. Just after a couple of hours, I was really making them like a pro. Then I cut the dreadlocks off the stick and I make this cut edge very flat and straight with the hair straightener. This is it, this is it, very satisfying, a box full of dreadlocks, it all looks really cute and super promising, I'm really still very excited about it. So now let's glue them to the doll's head using tacky glue, and can you guess by the way how many dreadlocks I will need to cover up the entire doll head? Please write your answers in the comment section down below, and I will let you know the right answer in a couple of minutes, because right now I have no idea myself how many of them I will need. So guys, I've made a 100 dreadlocks and I've ended up using all of them. Really, I'm not kidding. I had 96 ginger and 4 blonde ones and I really needed all of them. But the result looks amazing. I'm totally in love with it. Really so pretty, unbelievable. The prettiest hair ever probably. But I'm not completely done yet, I still want to add a couple of green feathers to her hair and then I will decorate the dreadlocks with the golden tinsel.
And this is it guys, I think I have finally finished her hair, it looks absolutely majestic and you know it's probably the prettiest doll hair I've ever made, really very happy about it. But you know, I've suddenly realized that I've forgotten to add reflections to her eyes with white acrylics while working on her face because I was probably too excited to start working on her hair. So let's do it now, then I will attach false lashes, add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips, and then I can finally let her head rest for a while and we will move on to her outfit. So, in my eyes, the outfit should look really effortless. Some leather, some fur, everything wrapped around her body, maybe some chains, some bones, things like this. I don't really see a shaman girl wearing two, I don't know, intricate designs. So, I have a tiny piece of a very thin natural leather here. And let's see where I will end up with it, and also with a piece of fur. So this is it for now, this is how the outfit looks, but this is not finished yet and I will need my 3D printer to create more decorations for it, to complete the outfit. Well, yes guys, under more decorations I meant two animal skulls with horns, one big skull and one small skull and look at them, they look really super pretty. So once they're all washed and cured, I will install a couple of pins to the bottom of the skulls using epoxy resin and these pins will help me later to attach the skulls to the doll's outfit as well as to her head. The next step is painting the skulls and adding some shadows with soft pastels.
And when I'm happy with the way they look, I can attach the skulls to the doll. The small one is going to the outfit and the big one is going on top of her head. And guys, it really just keeps getting better and better. Everything looks so pretty so far, but we're not done yet. Now when the outfit is finished, I can see which areas of her body stay open. And now I'm going to add some tattoos to these areas. And the tattoos are actually water decals for nail design, but you know all these tiny nail decorations are just perfect for dolls. So I let the decals dry, they look really cute, the only problem here is this glossy shine. You can see that the body is matte and these tattoos are quite glossy. But I think a layer of Mr. Super Clear sealant will be able to solve this problem easily. Yep, now the body looks really pretty, love the tattoos, they look really good here, very happy with this project so far. So, we can continue and the next step is making a shaman drum. And I'm going to use this lid from some face cream to build it around. But I start actually with attaching pieces of a thread to the sides of the lid. Now let's remove them out of the way and then I can cover the top of the lid with a piece of warbler thermoplastic. Then I can tie all the threads on the back because I want my drum to look very believable from the back as well and real shaman drums they always have these threads on the back. So and now I think the construction is finished and I can start painting it with acrylics. 
I want to create a leather-like texture and for this I'm going to take a seriously watered-down white paint and also very very watered-down brown paint and I'm going to spray these two paints onto the drum then I'm going to shake this drum, I'm going to let these paints run and mix in a very natural way creating kind of spots and washes of color and in the end I hope it's all gonna look like a stained texture that looks like some old leather Then we can add some shadows using soft pastels and after this I'm going to spray some gold on it to make it even prettier. To the bottom of the drum I add beads and feathers to make it prettier and to finish it up completely I add a couple of golden stickers to the front. And this is it guys, now the drum looks super real, very believable and it will also look really perfect next to the rest of the doll. So now I still need to give her a pair of shoes and I've decided to customize these Monster High shoes because they're just perfect for this project. Just look at them, really super cute shoes. So now let's sand, spray, paint them and after the shoes are finished we will finally take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, and here is finally my finished shaman doll. It was a big and very time consuming project, really, just making these dreadlocks was already a project on its own. But what is the most important, that this doll kept me excited about what I was making from the beginning till the very end. Right now I'm absolutely sure that I will make more dolls with dreadlocks, possibly even in the very near future, because I extremely like her hair today and I really want to experiment with dreadlocks some more, like imagine different colors, different styling, I just need to buy more of this kind of yarn in different colors, like imagine making for example a viking doll with white dreadlocks, it will be so 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 pretty. And by the way, I'm still open for winter and holidays doll suggestions. I haven't formed the final list of dolls and characters for this winter. So I could totally use this help today. You always give me beautiful ideas. 
So, and in general, I'm really proud of this doll. I really love her a lot. I think she's one of my best dolls ever. And she's also so different compared to my other dolls. And lately, guys, I'm always trying to make something different every time. Like, trying new styles, new techniques. So, as a YouTuber and as a content creator, I also feel quite satisfied about the diversity of things that I'm making and showing on my channel. So, these are my thoughts about this project. Now I'm like always sitting super nervous waiting for your feedback, but I really hope guys that you're going to like my shaman girl and her dreadlocks. So, please let me know what you think about her in the comments. So, and this doll is now available for sale on eBay for three days. So, if you feel like this doll is something for you, please check out the link in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was the doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you very soon in my next doll repaint video. I'm not sure yet. It might be the next week, but it also can be in two weeks. So see you very soon. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.